Hey y'all, welcome to Wisteria Witches. It's Gypsy. I want to start out tonight by apologizing to everyone for being gone for so long. I have been extremely busy with all kinds of just everything. One of the changes that we've made has to do with our lifestyle, and I'll get into that more in a minute. But I've noticed that, you know, something I talked about a while back has kind of come full circle. When I did my audition video for this channel, um, I discussed the Southern Cauldron, aka cast iron skillet, that is so coveted by most, if not all, Southern women. <laughs> And uh, what an important role they play in our lives and in our traditions and in our heritage and in our, you know, just sense of kind of family pride and, um, you know, and kitchen magic, of course, you know, um, putting your energy into things and, you know, sharing that with the rest of your family and those who are, you know, sharing your meal. And so, anyway, lately, my daughters and I have been um, really actively trying to make some changes. And of course, since I buy the groceries and I cook all the meals, really it's mom wants to do it, we're doing it. And uh, we have, you know, gone completely, you know, I'm following the paleo regimen right now, but it's it's loosening up, you know, to kind of accommodate the kids, you know, they want their milk and things like that. But the basis of it is you don't eat packaged foods. You don't eat a lot of grains, if really any grains. Uh, but the biggest thing is the pre-made food and, you know, we don't eat out. We didn't really eat out a lot before, but we really don't eat out a lot now. The kids' lunches I've been, you know, pretty pretty particular about since, you know, for years, but we've kind of locked it down a little more. But the big thing about, you know, changing and, and going so close to the earth when you make eating, you know, habit changes is the food preparation. Uh, there is a lot more energy put into making your food. Um, <laughs> Loverboy made the comment tonight, my daughter and I are both standing in the kitchen kind of working on stuff, and he, he walks through and he's like, you know, I wonder if part of the reason why people lose so much weight eating paleo is because y'all burn so many more calories cooking all your food. <laughs> and I was like, you know, that's a really good point, because <laughs> I swear, I have been in that kitchen more than I ever was before, and I'm in the kitchen a lot as it is. Now I find myself spending time on the weekends instead of getting to relax and, you know, make vlogs and edit vlogs and watch vlogs, I'm cooking. I'm cooking food for the kids to snack on and for them to, you know, pre-making certain things and like cooking chicken and things like that so that I have it ready to make chicken salad or chicken, you know, nugget things or whatever it is that we're going to eat. Uh, but the, you know, the downside is you spend a lot of time, but the upside is... If you have kids like I have, or if you have a spouse, or if you have someone else in your house that is actively participating, it makes it so much more fun. My daughters and I have concocted all kinds of things, looked at, we have four or five recipe books that we're digging out of right now, and all of them. I mean, my, my seven-year-old actually made chili last week by herself. I mean, I, I pre-measured, you know, the spices, and I opened the can of tomatoes for her, but... You know, she's working with cayenne pepper, so you don't want to, you don't want to screw that up. So, uh, you know, I have been encouraging them to get involved. My, my middle one was a little bit perturbed when she realized that, you know, things like ice cream that she knows of, things like that were going to be gone by the wayside. No more of the sugar, you know, no more cinnamon toast, things like that. And so I decided to go ahead and just hand her the cookbook and she picked out you know, most of the meals for the first week. And that's another thing, you got to plan meals. But I digress. Let me go back to what I'm talking about. The realization I had was that we were creating our own sort of, you know, we were doing our own little kitchen witching all together, all four of us moving around the kitchen, you know, in our own kind of little rhythm. And this one particular evening, you know, we, we put out a whole meal. Each girl had a different part of the meal that she was doing. One did the main entree, one did the vegetable, one did the dessert. And I kind of facilitated all of that. And so we were just these little, you know, buzz, 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 you know, going around the kitchen and then we just produced this awesome meal. And it was just one of those moments where I was like, I never really fully enjoyed my cast iron skillet as much as I did watching my seven-year-old stir her own chili in it. There is nothing cooler than that. Um, you know, seeing how proud my oldest was 
of this vegetable dish that she had put together that was just beautiful to look at and it tasted incredible you know and then my middle one you know had these killer chocolate bacon bites of some it, they were good they were like chocolate muffin kind of things with bacon in them yeah and it doesn't even matter how small they are i mean even if it takes a little bit longer to cook dinner even though it may involve a little bit extra cleanup you know, you'd be surprised at how much you can cut up with a butter knife. You know, little people can help too. Even if it's, you know, just slicing up a stick of butter that doesn't even really need to be sliced up. Just hand them the butter. Let them cut it up. Tell them what a good job they did and stick it in the pan. Those kinds of things. Just get the kids in the kitchen. Whether it's cooking or making tinctures or making brewing tea or whatever it is that you do when you're, when you are in that space invite others in you know I, I just I never thought of it I'm the mom and so I get into my zone and everything's all about me and I have to do it all myself and I have to get in there and I have to do this and I have to do this and everybody just get out of my way and let me just and I've, I've really embraced having the kids in the kitchen with me in the last two weeks and I know for some people you're like duh gypsy stupid my kid's been cooking with me since he was like 15 months old what are you doing oh well, you know what whatever I'm just now figuring it out. The point is, we're having a blast. And I would highly encourage any of you out there who, you know, live in the South or not, you know, I guess, you know, it's not really just a Southern woman thing. It's just down here in the South, that's where you congregate, that's where you talk, that's where you, you know, mix a couple cocktails and work on a gumbo and, you know, just shoot the shit. And so that's been something that my daughters and I have been kind of, well, we don't make cocktails. But we do, you know, yammer. There's lots of yammering. And a little bit of stumbling, you know. A little bit of griping. But, I mean, you know, they're, they're girls. So. Anyway, I just wanted to share those thoughts with you guys. Um, you know, share that southern cauldron. Get your kids in the kitchen. Get your loved one in the kitchen. Um, you know, if you have someone living with you in your home that you share your space with, you know, get them in the kitchen. Get in the kitchen, you guys hang out and cook some really cool stuff and pick out some crazy recipes that you've never heard of one of the ingredients and try it out, see what it is. You know, we, uh, we've been having a blast. I'll do more yammering about my paleo thing in my personal channel, but, um, you know, no matter what you're eating, you guys share that kitchen, share the cauldron, everybody gather around. It's a good time. That's all I got for tonight. Blessed be.